Welcome on down to another main tutorial for the Deserts and new place alike. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Razzle Joestar here bringing you a main tutorial on doing the controls for Ikari Warriors. It's a bit of a different game with this one because the uh, original con the original game used a special twisting joystick. You could move it around like normal, and then you can also twist it to kind of turn your character and change the way that they are firing. And this game is in fact not a twin stick shooter. It does not use two sticks. You can try to use two sticks, don't know if it's going to work for you, and I'll show you why, but um, let's go ahead and just jump right into that. Shortly before we do that though, this video was not sponsored by anything, we don't do that. Not yet. Anyways, um, what we're going to jump into though is if you like the content that you see on the channel, make sure to drop us a subscription, become part of our community of Dazzlers. I am thankful for every viewer, subscriber, or not that comes on the channel, but if you want to join our community of Dazzlers, subscribe today, and then we also have the bell if you want to keep notified on whatever random things we throw out that's arcade or otherwise gaming related. We also have our Kofi, Patreon, not page Kofi, uh, PayPal me, TubeBuddy, and Patreon in the description, but we'll go over all of that later. Let's get to the real meat and potatoes of the video, which is going to be doing the controls for Akari Warriors. Because again, the game uses a twisting joystick, and as far as I know, there actually isn't a, like, twisting joystick you can purchase. I don't know how many people would actually purchase a twisting joystick specifically for Akari Warriors. Kind of weird. But anyways, now before getting started, you want to make sure you do have your mouse support enabled uh, for this. It just I just randomly remember that. Uh, so let's go ahead and always go through and make sure you've got that good to go. I always get lost in these, these, these catacombs and menus. But there you go. We got enabled mouse input right there. Good to go. So let's go ahead and... So my preferred setup is going to be using a keyboard and mouse. And I know, I mean, you could use your joystick if you really want to, but, you know, have the joystick on your lap and use the mouse. But uh, um, because it's kind of in how the way the twisty joystick works, I found that just using a mouse kind of works. And I'll go ahead and go to the controls. So note that it uses something called a positional analog. So it uses an analog controller, an analog setup for the twisty part of the joystick. So I have my up, down, left, right button set up as well, and then my uh, fire and nade button are going to be set up to my left and right mouse buttons. So let me go ahead and show you that in action. And of course, uh, for, for anything that's like this, this is going to be like any other kind of analog control you set. You just move your mouse like that to the, you know, to the right or to the left, and we'll register that. Um, Analog increase and decrease is if you want to try to use it digitally. You could try to do that. I wouldn't recommend it, though. It's really tricky. So let me uh, go ahead and get this going. I'll show you the game in action uh, with the keyboard and mouse setup I have. So we got WS w WASD as a movement keys. We got left mouse fire, uh, left mouse for fire. And right mouse fire for grenades. One thing you're going to want to do too, if you're setting this up for the first time, is you want to go into your sensitivity settings, and I'm kind of getting into this. Sorry, you want to go to sensitivity settings and make sure you've got this fine-tuned uh, to a sensitivity you like. So I'll go ahead and show you that here in a second. So just gonna pause the game. So that's gonna excuse you. What are you what are you doing? Darn things are so heavy on me. Okay. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to your analog controls and you're gonna wanna set your positional digital speed. Um, I don't oh. I was gonna say I don't remember what the default was, but uh, yeah, I don't remember what the default was for it. Um or sensitivity, not not, not not digital speed. You want to go to sensitivity. Positional digital sensitive positional sensitivity is gonna be what you want to gonna set. Uh, let me just go ahead and crank that up to 15 so I can kind of give you an example of what that's like. So this is a game with the default sensitivity on. Like I'm barely moving my mouse to left and right, and this guy's just going all over the place. So I changed mine all the way down to like one. So it's just easier to get that turn. And that all I'm doing is moving the mouse to the left and to the right. 
I mean, who knows? Some people may like a bigger sensitivity, you know? It's like with FPS games. Some people just like to twitch around faster than other people, and there is nothing wrong with that. All right, so you may be asking yourself, well, what happens if you try a different setup? So let's go ahead and get a different setup set up, and I will show you how that can be, that can be a little bit difficult. All right, so we got the game going here, and I have reset my positional uh, analog. Let me, let me go ahead and show you what I've got set up here. So we've got positional analog increase set to the keyboard right, keyboard left, and then we've got button one as up and down. Button one is up and button two is down, I mean. Notice how there's like a bit of a lag, like right, like I'll let you know, like down, released, down, released. There's that, there's just that, there's that delay. And then there's the problem of how you're gonna have your control set up. Like I had to do up, so what I have is my middle finger is holding down the fire button. And then um, my index and my ring finger is the one that's manipulating the uh, things. Oh, I forgot there's a there's a way to getting that going. But I mean, you may be asking yourself, well, okay, Rousey, you can go into the analog controls and change them, right? Okay, yeah, we can set the digital speed. Like, here it is on 20. Now, there's not much of a delay here with this, but it's still, I, I still like, I prefer using the mouse though. Cause I just feel like I have a bit more control over that and having both fingers on the uh, on the shoot and nade button really like, it just makes it better. Cause like I can turn and then throw a nade and shoot at the same time. It's just, it's just, a, it's just more of an easier setup for me I feel like. Cause like here, if I want to nade or something like that, I have to take my finger off something. Unless I want to have some like weird thing where like my fingers are all like all over the pad or whatever. So I do have my uh, joystick set up here. I'm mean, not joystick. Um, I do have a game pad here. My handy dandy after Xbox One controls. So let me go ahead and set that up, and I'll show you what that's like as well. So we've got our stick set up here, or not my stick, um, I've got my Xbox One controller set up here. So we have it to where the left thumbstick is the movement button, and then the right thumbstick kind of just moves him, kind of like rotates him. If you've ever played Doom on like consoles or on like the Xbox like 360 or whatever, it's they kind of do a similar setup where it's like the left stick is to strafe and the right stick is to uh, turn. And then we've got left trigger as our fire button, right trigger to nade. So this is actually, if you're if you're not wanting to use a keyboard and mouse, this would be the setup I would recommend, mainly because you're able to fire and nade at the same time. So you can kind of keep that fire going. I mean, yeah, he does take a break when he he doesn't like keep shooting when he's throwing in grenades. Maybe asking what the main problem is, but just like having every key be easily accessible. I like just being able to nade and hold down the gun button. But personally, I still kind of like the keyboard and mouse out of uh, out of both these two. I just kind of feel like having the mouse as that um, having the mouse as the analog input, I think works because you have more control over like how quickly you whip around, if that makes sense, right? Because this is just digitally increasing and decreasing. With the mouse, it's a bit of a different story because it's an analog input. Now, you could do that with the, um, you could do the digital analog thing with the, with the stick as well. You could do positional analog for that. I'm going to just go ahead and take those out. Now, if you're trying to do the analog with the stick, you'll find there's a problem. One, it only registers your left and right. And it, because the stick goes back to the center, it really screws with your aiming. So you have to use, you have to, 
if you're going to go with the analog option, you're either going to have to somehow jerry-rig a twisting joystick with the analog feature, or you're going to have to use the mouse. There's also the question of using a trackball, which is something that occurred to me while um, getting ready to film this. I haven't tried that, because I don't have a trackball. Um, so if any of you out there have a trackball and you want to kind of try a bit of a Maverick thing, I think that's definitely something worth looking into. But again, my preferred setup is going to be WASD for moving, the left and right mouse buttons to fire and nade, and the mouse moving left and right as the positional analog to simulate the twisting joystick. That's one of the things I like about arcades too, by the way, is that there are so many people coming up with so many weird, different configurations. To, it's just really, it really was an age of experimentation, I felt like. It was kind of like a wild west of gaming. People just, of course you had your bad, crappy games, but no era of entertainment is without that. But it's just fun to kind of like look at these cabinets and, and kind of like figure out why. Like I'm like, why is this controller all set up like all hunky dory like this? Like what the heck is up with this? And then turns out it's a twisting joystick. Wow, that's pretty freaking cool, right? So that's pretty much all I got for this. Hopefully this got, uh, will either help you set up some controls or kind of give you some ideas of play to set up your own controls to your own liking. Because again, that's one of the things I like about Meme is uh, you can just toy around with things, toy around with settings, and just find something that works perfectly for you. So that being said, my name is Roger Joestar. Thank you guys for coming down and watching this video. Uh, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Become a Dazzler today. Join my community of Dazzlers for more arcade madness of various kinds. We also have ways of monetary supporting the channel as well. Like uh, we've got our PayPal.me. We got our Patreon. We also have our affiliate with TubeBuddy. Uh, TubeBuddy is a great tool that most likely helped this video come to you, meaning that we use the tools in that to find the keyword phrases and SEO phrases and other things like that that help YouTube's algorithm find our videos. Because if you're a fellow creator, you know about the algorithm. And if you're thinking about creating and you're worried about algorithm and SEO and stuff like that, TubeBuddy is a handy dandy tool that can help you out with that. And you can get discounts on it too if you're under a thousand subscribers and you're free to pay annually. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool tool. Anyways, enough of me trying to be funny. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys next time. Cheerio.